In this tutorial, we are going to teach you how to make a Flappy Bird clone uh, using Unity. And now we are opening Unity. It will take it will take some time, and uh, till we will wait. Now we will make a folder here, and uh, you can name it uh, whatever you want. I'm naming it uh, Flappy Clone and uh, then I will click on 2D here we don't wanna add any asset from here so we are not clicking on this icon and from this icon you can add assets into your game now you'll create the project and it has been created on desktop now it has opened so we'll check the view of 2d and we have already discussed what is the layout and all those kind of thing the basic things we can also make a custom screen and we have selected our custom screen and we'll make game on it now we'll make a basic structures of our game and then right click on assets now create a new folder and name it textures here we can save our assets uh, like the bird and uh, pipes etc now we will drag and drop all the assets uh, which we will use in this game from desktop and here are our assets those pipes are obstacles by the way first we'll set our background just uh, drop our background in the main scene now transform position should be in the center so and we don't wanna do something with rotation and uh, in scale uh, our height will be 2.5 and width is also 2.5 I think this is good enough now you'll take our player and drag and drop it on the main screen like this give its position uh, minus 4 to x axis and 0 to y axis we don't want to do anything with rotation so we'll leave it and we want to increase scale because we want our bird to be visible on the screen now we will give minus 1 to the position of z axis the reason behind is so our player doesn't reflect for, from anything and don't go behind the obstacles if we just don't give that value to Z axis, our player will reflect from all the obstacles in the background also. Now we can play the game. First, uh, save the scene and uh, name it demo scene, I think. It is good. Now we will create another folder named scenes and we will drag and drop the demo scene in scenes folder so that we can layer our game into a pattern so we can uh, find any scene in the scenes folder if we do so we can uh, make our game or uh, in an organized way we can find assets and textures folder and uh, any scene and scenes folder and uh, like so prefabs etc now play the game and let's see now we have hit the play button it has started but it is boring and it is not working it's because we haven't done anything yet in this game now pause the game and uh, now we will do some physics in this game now select the bird now add component and 
select rigid body 2d so question will be hammering your mind that what is rigid body 2d so rigid body 2d is a thing which applies all the physics laws on the substance which we have selected so let's see what it is doing in our game now play so you can see that our player is falling down due to gravity now pause the game and uh, now we will do some scripting so now come in the asset folder and add a folder and name it scripts all the scripts which we will use will be saved in this folder so we can add a script in this way and uh, there is another way and that way is the, we select the thing which we will have to add a script and add component and click uh, first search script and there's new script and we are following C sharp so we will select C sharp now name the script player controllers and uh, there is a disadvantage in making a script here because the script comes here so we have to drag and drop the script in the scripts folder oh not in the scenes folder so drag it in the scenes drag it from the scenes folder in the, the scripts folder so we have done it now open the script so the scripts are not too long so we will use mono developer so our script is here start function and update function is also here so now we have to declare a public variable and name it jump force and uh, its vertical value would be 0 and horizontal value would be 300 we can adjust this values in our unity editor we don't have any concern with the start function so we will delete this function because in the player script we will just rely on the update function now we will implement an if statement that if input dot get key down and we will give a key here that is a space I think a bracket is missing yes here is a bracket so now we will call get component that is rigid body 2d dot velocity is equals to vector 2 dot 0 this means that at that at that time the value would be 0 now you will again write get component rigid body 2d because our game is 2d so dot add force and we will add this vector to value in this add force as a parameter so this is the controller of the flappy bird game so this is quite easy and small just save it go back to unity and compile it there is no error in the console so hit the play button and you can see that uh, whenever I hit the space button its current position remains at zero and it adds up to 300 more and it jumps